guys, I work out a bit. It was actually not workout, it was like more of an exercise. And I usually do this 15 20 minutes, and it's like enough for me. And for this year, for 2023, I have a goal to do this morning exercise every day. Even if I like miss one day, I just just try again and the next day I want to continue because yesterday uh, I woke up late and I realized that the key of my consistently in working out is to wake up earlier when I on a freelance you know I have my own schedule so it's really opportunity to procrastinate a lot to be more lazy because now it's winter and it's like in a 4 p.m. it's already dark and I don't want to do anything so yeah, you know, you know how how it is. So now I'm going to do my breakfast and let's go with me. So I decided to have for the breakfast boiled eggs and also I'm gonna eat bread with uh, with the salt salmon. I marinated it by myself actually. So it's just fresh salmon with uh, with salt. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be so good, I guess. And what I don't like on this kitchen is that it's small and always a mess right away when you just come to the kitchen. Actually, everything I love in my apartment besides the kitchen. But let's just... Okay, great! <laughs> I don't believe in magic, but not the magic about the cleaning. So let's just watch how it was in reality. So that's my breakfast, it's a slice of bread, uh, goat cheese and the salmon and the boiled eggs and coffee. I'm obsessed with this cup and I have a second one, kind of the same. So I made this cup by myself, okay, I drove this cup by myself and she had a birthday and she asked her friends and me to come to the place when we were able to draw on the cups and I did the splashes, <laughs> this uh, splashes by myself, so happy. It's already like a week when I drink just from this cup, <laughs> that's how I love it. Recently on Prague 7, where I live, we've been open a new vintage store and me as a big fan of reusing and secondhand culture in general, love from time to time to visit such places. Everyone around you is just in the way You don't want my story, you just need a name So I picked up two things to try in a dressing room. First one, it's a vintage leather jacket. Right away I fell in love with the design and material which was so soft. And second one, it's a sweater. I really like the combination of the colors and the fact that it has a zipper, but unfortunately it was too small for me. So in the end I bought a jacket and I'm so excited to wait for a springtime to style it. And now I would like to share with you some life situation which happened with me on December and the lesson I have learned from it. So guys, it's the next day and actually I'm filming this footage on my new camera that I rented yesterday. 
and probably I will buy this camera. From the beginning, so professionally I do videography and photography. I had a resolution for this year to have a, a certain amount of money per every month. I didn't complete it, but in the last month I got the chance to work with a big clients for a long time uh, collaboration. Actually, the price was twice more than I was uh, expected. I remember my like my reaction on it that I was so stressed about it like I wasn't happy I was just like was stressed so the guy who I was talking about the prices about which work I supposed to do how many times per week first time he said to me you have to do a test video some photo shoot event and I didn't ask about any deposit from them because they said they work like you just will send them invoice and they will tell you and actually the first invoice like the first projects i was making for them this video this photo shooting it was during uh, my holiday and they asked me to do a sub as soon as possible because the client waiting and i said like i'm going on my vacation i didn't say that i don't work like that like it takes time like one video usually takes like three days to edit but i was so scared to lose this client to lose that money that actually i think mentally i was not prepared for when i sent a first invoice this manager he said like it's take up to three days for a transition of money on your account i'm like okay and I'm waiting one week, I'm waiting second week. I'm asking where I'm supposed to wait for the money. And he's like, oh, I'm not in town. I will push this process. He was like giving me a promises and promises like a multiple times. A friend of mine said like, please don't continue to work with this, uh, with this client till they pay you with the first invoice. And when I met the guy, he's like, don't worry just i didn't send the invoice because it was a holidays it was like something else be sure that in the three days you will receive the payment I didn't ask about like um confirmation about uh, money transition i didn't ask anything i was like okay if you say that if you say that you i will get of course okay i can uh, start second project so in the next day uh I coming on this place and started to record a second project. In the end, it's been a month already and I didn't receive anything from them. I didn't receive any money from them. I think I betrayed myself in this situation and now I have to deal with all of this shit, with all of that I have to re-ask them, I have to write multiple times where is my money. Really, it's a big lesson for myself. In work, like try to be selfish. Do not start to please everyone. I did this work in, during my vocation because I, I wanted to be a good girl and to show them that I can do everything fast, everything good. And I learned that I don't have any more to betray myself. I don't have to, don't pay attention on my intuition because it was a lot of signs and I didn't pay attention on them. I believe that I will earn more this year. I just want to give you advice that always choose yourself. <laughs> if you feel like something go wrong, please listen to your intuition. Please listen to yourself. Don't ask anybody. Like your heart will answer the questions. We always have to act from a love, not from a fear. Because I was scared to lose a client. I was scared to say no, that I was scared to postpone the deadline. Like it's supposed to be a love to yourself first and then you will do, you will do a great deals with everyone. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, this was a lesson from my December. Thank you for watching this video and please let me know how you like, how you like the picture. Actually, I really like this lens because you can like move it. Yeah, you can move it like this. It will be wider, you can move it like this. I love it. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.